Good day. Welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Michael Klomp and I'm a technical support consultant at Procon. Today I'm going to illustrate how to use Probar 2D's area zone. This video will demonstrate the parameters and functionality of the area zone and how to plot and optimize reinforcing using Probar 2D scheduler. Use the join command in AutoCAD model space to ensure that the slab edges and openings are defined as polylines. Select the Area Zone button in Probar 2D's ribbon to activate the slab wizard. Select the polylines of the openings and at the edges of the slab. Then select the center lines for the splice locations. Specify the type, diameter and spacing of the reinforcing. Define the slab depth as well as the top, bottom and side cover for the reinforcing. Stipulate the maximum separated bar length for the reinforcing to be transported to the construction site. Specify the first bar mark for the reinforcing and define the lap length factor for the splice length in accordance with the relevant design code. Specify the reinforcing layer, tag and angle as well as the overall shape code for the reinforcing. Determine if you would like to anchor the edges of the reinforcing, rotate the reinforcing leaders, and if you would like two way spanning reinforcing. Lastly, give the member a name and indicate the layer for the reinforcing. Select OK to execute the wizard. I will now evaluate if the wizard has executed the correct splice length for the Y25 rebar. The splice length, as per the specified splice length factor, is as calculated. Probar 2D also allows you to change the shape codes of the reinforcing in the rebar properties. Notice how you can optimize the reinforcing using the scheduler. Once optimized, you can then paste the bending schedule into AutoCAD's model space. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.